But what was that sound? Ma hey, that's me. Hey guys. So as we're starting to close in on the season one finale of HBO series Westworld, we are finally starting to see some of the characters, the world, and the plot setup come to a peak. With only two more episodes left in the season, everything is really starting to heat up. We're seeing some of the characters really start to take action now. They're starting to create more palpable conflict rather than exploring the world and philosophical concepts. This is great for pushing that narrative forward towards the finale. But I digress. Let's talk about a few theories for where this narrative might be leading. So at this point, we can safely assume that Dolores was built to become more self-aware and to lead the narrative into the ominous theme park maze that we can probably assume as well the OG host maker and long-deceased Arnold had built. Man, I wish my existential crises were that cool. So I'm thinking that once we get to the start of the maze, we're going to step into another narrative created by the one and only Arnold. So now we have a narrative within a narrative within a narrative, and the rabbit hole goes deeper for our transformative Alice character. Also, doesn't the maze look extremely similar to a human brain? I mean, come on. The first time we see it, the man in black is inspecting it on the inside of a host's scalp. And in the way of symbolism, this is undoubtedly representing the intricate mind of Mr. Arnold. Now this leads us to ask, What's in the center of the maze, though? My theory is that Arnold has somehow uploaded his consciousness, and that would be the big reveal. We haven't really dealt with this theme yet, but it's not completely impossible if Arnold is as genius as they've regarded him so far. How his consciousness could manifest itself, I'm not sure yet, but I'm thinking that maybe it's waiting to be unlocked within Dolores sleeper agent style or within another host. It could be in a chip sitting in an artifact at the center of the maze, but that would be no fun and the writers we know have a little bit more zazz than that. With Maeve, I don't think she'll be escaping Westworld anytime soon, just because narratively it would weaken the show if we had to follow yet another storyline set outside of Westworld and the company. Sorry Maeve. Ford, I want to think, is a host made by Arnold just because he's so intelligent and unpredictable and scheming that it seems like he was made to assist with the running of the company and maintaining the integrity of the product if anything were to say happen to Arnold. Plus, it would just be really cool to have a morally ambiguous android that can create other androids. The man in black, I'm thinking, is human and used to be Arnold's friend just because that would explain really well why he's so obsessed with the maze, probably because he would think that it's holding the secret to his friend's death. Another theory I have is that the Man in Black is the actual co-creator of the theme park, and that Anthony Hopkins' Ford character is a host created to basically be a placeholder to help the business run smoothly and make sure it, there's no exploitation involved while he essentially solves his friend's death. It's a little convoluted, I know, but how sick would that be, right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? So those are some of my predictions for where the series might lead. If you guys have any other theories, please feel free to share them in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. And I think to myself, why are you like this?